To guys, quote Tommy, I am goaded at Skate 3. I love this game. I remember the first time I played it very vividly. Oh, I should not have dished the board. I, um, it was the last day of school in my third grade year. And third I grade? Got home, went down to the basement. Walter was playing Skate 3, and I remember when he bought it. Oh, that would have been sick. I remember when he bought it, and he let me play, and I was like, wow, this game is so sick. There's actually something I'm going to show you in a little bit, a little secret cool spot you can go Ooh. to. Uh, and I know about the observatory, Tom. Oh, it's not that. Oh, that would have been so clean. You got to show. So sing how they were. Well, that's you are being chilling. I forget how to play this already. Yeah. All right. Keep the interview going, Sam. Uh, yeah. So if you could, um, who, who are your heroes? My heroes? I wouldn't really say I have too many heroes, but... There are definitely people that I, I strongly admire, um, like musicians. I, I really, Metallica did a lot for me that completely changed my taste in music and the way I looked at music. And, and the way you dress. I guess, well, I don't know. I feel like I've always <laughs> worn pants, a yeah. graphic t-shirt accompanied <laughs> yeah. by a flannel or a hoodie. That's uh -huh. been a constant since the third grade. Uh, but their music has done a lot for me, and it's what made me want to start making my own music was them. And seeing him live was like top three coolest nights of my life. So when you have your first child, will you um? Oh yeah, will you getting, look back and getting... think Metallica was better than this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, my kids are gonna be raised to be little rock stars. Little rock stars. Oh yeah. See, I gotta. I don't want to force them to play guitar, but I gotta. I gotta keep it around them and try my hardest to gaslight them into wanting to play guitar <laughs> in every room in the house yeah i'll just make sure that it is a central focal point for these children uh, in their most formative years what do you do you think you would be like a professional musician if if your parents were professional musicians or oh, like 100 percent. if my parents yeah for sure so then why are you a podcaster <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, I don't share the deep burning passion for podcasting as they do. Well, I feel like it's more um, it's more about uh, evangelization for them, because they're yeah they're Catholic. not they're not going after the brand deal checks. Yeah, every week. me neither. I yeah, mean, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got so many rolling in, but I just I'm not about. You say that. no. You're not really rocking with BetterHelp's message of bettering people. <laughs> <laughs> um. If do you have any regrets? Nope, not a single one. Except for that tattoo I got that said no regrets. <laughs> really? I thought it said regrets. No, it was regrets. Mm. I, he thought I said uh, no rugrats. <laughs> but I was like, no, I said no regrets. Dude, that happens to me like every week. Um, and I've gotten it lasered off, and I went back and told him again, and he did it <laughs> twice in a row. And they wouldn't refund me. They would not refund me. That's that's. It's a big bummer. That's a major L on your part. Yeah. Um, have you ever wanted to be in an interview? We're going meta with the interview questions. Yeah, there is a lot of interview questions. Have I ever wanted to be interviewed? I feel like if I had something to promote, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, we already promoted your um, your. Your uh, my late to the party videos. Late to, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, um, but I mean those are just goofing around, having having a jolly good time. Last week I promoted Mary's um, uh, the place where you get married and the people give you give you items, the uh, registry wedding. No, the the wedding registry, so the people uh, can give you give yeah, you stuff yeah. for your house. Uh, we yeah, promoted I'll, that. I'll, you can plug like my my cash app if people <laughs> want to like give me money. So what are you gonna do with it? You're gonna pr pr produce higher quality late to the party uh, videos? No, I probably just spend it on Moe's. Makes sense. Yeah, that that sounds about that sounds about right. I'm going to Moe's on Sunday. Just a whole lot of stacks, whole lot of stacks. Stacks are amazing, dude. Well, what's your what's your your peak stack? Um, Stack, my uh, stack. It's got yes. uh, all right, laid down with some white chicken, onions, Ooh. peppers, tomatoes, queso, more cheese, a little bit of fresh jalapenos, some citrus chipotle ranch sauce drizzled on oh top. My gosh, a little bit more cheese. You toast that puppy up, cut it in half. It's it'll be the best thing you ever put in your mouth. Word, that's my go to. I get it way too often. I don't, I don't really pay attention too much. Wait, how, how often is way too often? 
Well, dude, it sucks because I work right next to it. Oh, no. And, and you know, because I'm driving for like 8, 10 hours a day. I can't uh -huh. get as many meals in me as I'd like to be getting in me. So at the end of the day, I'm just so hungry. So I'll just get a stack. It happens at least once a week. Once a week? Yeah. How much of your budget is just Moe's? Uh, a very small amount. About 90%. <laughs> wow, dude, 11 76 for a stack. That's, that's that once a week. Chump change. <laughs> Sam, I got to one, play for three minutes. And I'm, then you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, one billion dollars. 